how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, I'm Aaron K, and I'm the Prosperity Minister. I work with action-oriented spiritual folk to help them live out the life that they desire. So free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched lives. That's what I believe for all of us, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start by singing an affirmation. We're going to talk about the third way. This is always a third way. Always a third way. So, first and foremost, affirmation. I am the deliberate designer of my life. I am powerful enough to create what I desire. Hello, Adkeek. Here we go. I am the deliberate designer of my life. Oh, I am the deliberate designer of my life. designer of my life so that's our affirmation and it kind of leads us into what I'm about to say here now we get this idea inside of us that we have no choice it is the way you've been conditioned to think that you have no choice but to say yes to doing anything that anyone asks you to do whether you want to or not and I want to remind you that you are, in fact, the deliberate designer of your life. This is your life. You get to choose what you say yes or no to. You do not have to compromise your desires. And yes, some people, when you start to actually start saying no to things that they want you to say yes to, they may get offended by you. They may tell you that you're being a, well, you might even think that you're being a diva because it takes courage to actually stand up for the desires of your own heart. And this is why people settle in different areas of their life because they think they have no choice but to say, okay, yes, <laughs> that you have to, and you don't, you don't ever have to just keep saying yes, you can find a third way. So the answer isn't that they have to suffer or you have to suffer. There is almost always, no, 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 there's no almost about it. There is always another way. You just have to have the courage to stand your ground and find it. You have to have the courage to stand your ground and find it. Because yes, there will be certain expectations, depending on what situation you're talking about, there will be certain expectations, and there might even be mash, emotional manipulation on you to give in, submit, surrender, just do what we want you to do because that's just what we want you to do. But this is it, guys. Your energy levels are drained every time you say yes when you really do want to say no. Every time you say yes when you want to say no, you are draining your energy, which leaves you in, you're not available for your good to come to you. So it is critically important that you learn how to stand your ground and actually get out of a situation what you desire. Because if you keep saying yes because you think, oh, but I have to, because if I don't do this, and, and that's another thing people do is, oh, if I don't do it, then nobody else will do it. It's a lie. It's a lie that you have bought into, which is now causing you to feel drained and fed up all of the time and making you feel a bit victimized by life. But you're not. You're choosing to be victimized by life. You are the deliberate designer of your life. You are powerful enough to say yes or no. You just have to find the courage to do so. And sometimes, yes, it will feel like, oh my gosh, I'm being unreasonable. You're not. You have a right to ask of life what you desire of it, which also takes me deeper. A lot of you don't manifest the things you desire because you don't stand your ground long enough to see the manifestation you are torn oh no you are you are chained to ideas of well this is the way life always has been so therefore i should just expect it to be this way for the rest of my life what if it's not true what if you found the inner strength to stand your ground and say you know what no this is what i demand of life i am one with the divine i get to choose my life experience i get to create life the way I desire it. So does everybody else, but you know what? You're not responsible for everybody else. You are responsible for you. You get to create life the way you desire it.
if you will have the courage to stand your ground and refuse to give in until you see the manifestation of the things you desire. So yes, there is always a third way. There's always a third way. You just have to stand your ground regardless of how people might treat you or tell you, oh, you're being unreasonable. You should just give in. If you are going to design the life that you desire, you cannot just keep submitting to every single thing and anything and any old how. Your energy, your availability, oh my gosh, your energy is just too important for you just to give in any old how, okay? Your prosperity is worth you standing your ground. And I know sometimes it can seem like, oh, but this is such a small decision here. What does it matter? Honey, have you heard of the butterfly effect? It matters. Okay, so I just wanted to drop that into your mind and start you thinking, listen, I'm going to start standing my ground. Guys, I want you to tag somebody else into this because we all need to hear this stuff. We all need to get deliberate about the design of our lives, okay? Freedom, guys. You are created free. But life sometimes has taught you to live less than free. It's time to come back to who you are. It's time to return to your true design. Are you ready? Tag somebody else into this. <laughs> I'll share it with someone else. Much amazing love. You are the deliberate designers of your life. Go forth and prosper. You are awesome. Much amazing love. Bye.